Hello everyone, welcome to Critical Praxis, week number three. I would like to apologize ahead of time for this exercise in time travel. You may realize that my mouth and the sound are not quite lined up. Let's just call this intentional. This week's topic comes to us from Jesus, and Jesus asks, as pedagogues, what ways might you enact performance as a means to teach what you are not fully equipped to teach? Said another way, how does performance manifest as a pedagogical strategy? I really feel that as a pedagogue, I approach the classroom with an open mind, with a willingness to engage in some sort of critical discussion with my students, particularly around different thematic um, items that emerge, whether it be in popular culture, whether it be from students, whether it be from my life, what have you. Uh, I, I approach the classroom with a textbook in mind, with a chapter that the students may or may not have actually read, and we open up these dialogues about uh, what is in the text. Now I have found that uh, in, in engaging certain texts that may be uh, tough, admittedly tough or difficult, particularly concepts that might be a little bit of a struggle for some students, that performance becomes one of the most effective tools that I've found. In fact, um, instead of actually uh, assigning whole chapters now in my, my course right now, I actually have my students break up into groups of four, or four groups, I'm sorry, four groups within a classroom, which is roughly five to six people per group. And each of those groups are assigned between three and five pages of each chapter every single week. And what that means is that in the end, any one person is only actually reading between three and five pages of each chapter. Uh, as a group, each of those four groups, um, they come to class and we will watch four performances, right? Or I should say as students, what they'll do is they're going to watch three performances and, and then perform in the fourth performance. What they end up doing is they end up actually offering some sort of performance about the three to four pages that they are responsible for reading. Now, I, I leave the definition of performance uh, intentionally very broad and open. It can be whatever their bodies uh, feel comfortable doing. And so what I have had in classrooms are very traditional lecture uh, type type discussions about the text, about the chapter. I've had actual reenacted performances. I've had students who've written poetry about the items. I have had students who write songs, who have rapped about, who have uh, embodied the actual terms themselves. At least however it is that they see the terms working in and, uh, and through their bodies. Now I find this to be a particularly effective tool for a number of reasons. Uh, primarily I find that what it does is it gets students A up off of their seats, uh, standing up, moving around to the best of their ability, whatever that might look like, and engaging the text actively. And what I mean by that is that they're actually moving and, and trying to really allow the ideas to really seep into their bodies so that their memories are not just here, right? That what we end up doing is actually uh, start kind of uh, more or less uh, ingraining the ideas into their bodies themselves. So that instead of talking about simulacra, some sort of theoretical practice or exercise that we engage in as critical scholars or critical viewers when we're watching some film, we say, well, that right there was clearly an example of simulacra. What we want to do is I want to have my students really engage what simulacra looks like through their bodies, however that might manifest. And that might mean some sort of repetition with a slight shift or a slight change or a repetition without an actual beginning at all. So what would that look like? How would What would a performance look like uh, that, 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 that would define simulacra, right? We're now in week two, at least, of my, my, my university here. And what that means is, uh, in fact, next week, week number three at the university, is going to be our first formal discussion about a chapter in the text. And I do find that most of these performances at first are very traditional lectures. And the reason for that is, I think, quite obvious and that most of us are taught that that's what a classroom is supposed to look like, feel like, be like. And so the students end up taking on the kind of teacher role by using drawing upon the, the traditional banking method, taking the information and saying, this is what we read and then looking at us as we look back at them. And slowly what I start doing is working with them to say, all right, now what does that look like in your body? How does that feel? Does it feel like this is just over, does this idea feel like it just overwhelms you? What does it mean to be overwhelmed by an idea? And then what we do is, or at least for me, I then try to connect these ideas with uh, various media clips. Because if I can show a media clip and show specifically how some of these ideas are working in popular culture, things that students can connect with, I find that it becomes a very useful tactic and tool. So I guess getting back to, again, um, the initial question from Jesus, uh, again, he writes, as pedagogues, what ways might, might you enact performance as a mean to teach what you're not fully equipped to teach? Th this is an important point here because I don't really feel that I'm equipped to teach anything really. What I am equipped to do is to engage in discussions about things that matter to me and to students, uh, and then also me as a student. 
And so I think when we when we end up using performance, it allows us to break free of the definition, the this equals this, right? That this thing is this and that it has to be very black and white. And it allows us to show a variability of definitions through the body. And what I mean by that is like, if we go back to the simulacra uh, performance example, what we end up having are a slew or a series of performances from each group member trying to get at the same concept in very different ways. And the importance of that in a classroom uh, context is we're able to have a discussion about why this performance looks like this, why this looks like this, and why this looks like this. What were the choices that were made to try to convey these ideas? And what does it mean to string those together as all being equally valid, but very different ways of approaching that same text? And so I find that um, we don't have to approach the classroom fully equipped to engage as pedagogues. I think what we do is we approach the classroom prepared to engage, having a basic understanding of the concept at hand, understanding that that, 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 that basic concept will be, and hopefully will be at least, challenged and pushed back and that there will be resistance and some sort of uh, uh, a desire to shift and shape what the possibility of that that idea can be or become, if not just in that one class, at least for the future. I guess in addition to that, uh, in like the long term, it's a lot easier as pedagogues, I think, as well as for students to hearken back to past performances, to say, oh, remember that performance about yada, yada, yada. Remember that performance about yada, yada, yada. I can remember those things a lot more easy uh, than I can than maybe like a very straightforward definition about a concept that it itself is so incredibly foreign to me that I just get kind of lost in the idea. And I guess uh, one more time turning back, uh, the second question here is, uh, how does performance manifest as a pedagogical strategy? For me as a pedagogical strategy, performance allows us to challenge the mind-body divide by allowing the concepts, the core ideas, to really seep and work their way into our bodies, into a deeper way of remembering, recalling, and reperforming the ideas uh, that function in and around a classroom. In conclusion, um, as a pedagogue, I, I use performance as a means of encouraging deeper learning, a deeper way of really engaging the concepts in a text and in a classroom that students can walk away with, uh, continuing to allow it to work through their body in various ways. Um, anyways, I thank you, Jesus, for this topic. It's great, and I look forward to any other responses that come our way. Peace to you all, and I will see you next week. If you're interested, by the way, in offering con contributions to this channel video-wise, please send me a message, uh, and we will get those dialogues going. Take care.